Hey everyone, Rob Cohe here, talking a little bit about what's new in Inventor 2011. And in this segment, we're going to talk about alias design for Inventor. Yes, you heard me correctly, alias design for Inventor. So what that means is we've put alias functionality right inside of Autodesk Inventor. Some amazing technology that is going to absolutely transform the way that people model. Now, alias design for Inventor as I see it is the perfect integration of both freeform design and parametric modeling. We've got edge manipulation and we've got form symmetry that's going to allow our users to explore and create forms in ways that are virtually impossible with a parametric modeler. Now take a look at this. This is what alias design for Inventor new in Inventor 2011 is all about. Grab an edge, add some vertices, and explore form uninhibited from the traditional rigors of history-based parametric modelers. Now look at this folks. Essentially grab an edge, add those vertices, and literally just push and pull and imagine doing this with a work plane, with a sketch, with a loft, adding rails, making sure that your rails intersect with the it doesn't matter. You simply grab an edge and begin to push and pull it. Now if you have a sketch to base it off of, bring those sketches in as sketch planes. You've got a top, a bottom, a right, and you can see that I can quickly and easily just reference those. Grab that edge, pull it off a little bit. And again, keep reminding yourself that this is inside of a parametric modeler. So the ease in which you're able to create and explore form are unparalleled. This just doesn't exist in a parametric modeler, except for, of course, alias design for inventor. <laughs> now, our ability to bounce back and forth between the alias tools, so shape manipulation and form symmetry and such, and the more traditional parametric tools like adding a fillet for example. Here I'm using the direct manipulation tools inside of Inventor's traditional modeling. So I, I've, I've transitioned out of the alias design for Inventor tools and back into the more traditional modeler. So when I need to go through and add specific fillets, I can do so. Now as you saw, alias design for Inventor is intuitive and flexible when it comes to creating freeform shapes. The user deals with shape and form, not parametric history or individual surfaces. In addition, Alias Design for Inventor helps users avoid potential interoperability issues by providing the ability to import and edit geometries from other CAD packages. You're not just limited to the stuff that you can create in Inventor. Bring it in from somebody else. With seamless integration between design and engineering, Alias Design for Inventor lowers the barriers to creating appealing and practical designs. 